Hey, what's up everybody? Ricky Bobby. Happy Thursday. Getting ready to start summer holidays here. And I haven't done this in a while, so I'm gonna show you guys just kind of a like an update reminder if you're gonna look for store-bought coconuts. Uh, this time there was a lot of fresh ones. This is a good time of year to buy them in the summertime. Uh, they've been transported from the hot tropics, usually on a hot truck, hot plane, hot air, you name it. I usually have better luck summertime germinating these guys than I do in the wintertime. So the coconuts are probably a lot fresher too. So these are out of like 20 of them, these are the two that I picked. The reason why, and I told you guys before. See how there's a little bit of a bulge in the three eyes? And that one as well. Actually, this camera picks it up pretty good. Typically, that's gonna be the eye where the plant grows out of. And because there's a slight bulge there, uh, it's quite possible that like the embryo inside might be already active. I've seen these guys actually germinate in the store, even though the store is air conditioned. So what I did was I just gave them a quick rinse, just so the husk is nice and moist. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in this saran wrap bag. Now we're not gonna do the bucket trick this time. Why use hydro when you have outdoor hydro? So I'm gonna show you exactly in a second here what the last part of this little setup is. Okay, so we're outside. You know, it's not the hottest of days, but it's pretty warm, it's 27 Celsius, but all of this seat is very hot. Uh, but the bag turns into like a greenhouse. So I pour a little bit of water in the bottom. But one thing you can't do is you cannot zip this up all the way. Make sure you leave a little bit of air ventilation because basically the bag will become a pressure cooker and it will get so hot in there that the coconuts actually like explode. They will actually crack and they just bust, they get so hot. So gonna let these guys fry. This will probably get them up to almost 100 degrees in there and very humid. And basically they're gonna stay in there every day um, until they potentially germinate. Now doing this, I've had them sometimes germinate in less than a week, sometimes a little bit longer. So we'll see how good of a, of a job I did picking the coconuts out this time. And just a quick recap, what's going on with the palms lately. Sunburned Christmas palm. Um, that was from April when I brought it out too early. See that? That's a little sunburn. Uh, but lots of new growth, new spears. Same as this guy. Same thing. Uh, it looks a little shitty right now, but I was in a, ru a rush to get him outside. I should have never done that. Uh, my wife kind of was like, hey, when are you going to put the palm trees outside? They look nice by the pool. Yeah, well, I tried to um, get them like, acclimated for about two weeks. Still not enough. When these things go from winter time indoors under LED lights or no lights at all to like full sun and temperature swings. Uh, they do not like it. So there's some sunburn there in that old front. Sorry, as I was saying it before my camera cut me off is uh, this foxtail, there's a line, it's right there. That's where it started back in the spring. So it started to grow, but unfortunately it went into, they go into like a shock when they go from indoors to outdoors and the change of conditions, the light and everything. And this palm didn't actually grow or move for about three weeks. And then once it, it kind of got stable and the temperatures started to stay a little bit warmer and the waterings were coming in, uh, now it's growing uh, quite a bit. So it's looking better. Um, I also, just for the heck of it, I actually kind of broke this spear up a little bit, just so it looks a little bit nicer instead of having to see a super tall spear, as you can see. And same thing with the, the bottle. Uh, this stuff got sunburned in the spring, as you guys all saw. Um, but we are growing really nicely here. New spear, right? Oh, you can see it right there, it's looking good. Bismarckia, same thing. So anyway, everything's growing. It's summertime here in Southern Ontario. Everything's looking good. The Bismarckia started to grow again, which is nice. And of course, I got some foxtails up there. And uh, I'm not going to show you anything indoors right now, guys, because there's no sense. Uh, but uh, that'll be another day. So anyway, have a great day. It's like the third day of summer here now in southern Ontario. We're outside. And uh, we're going to do some watering of the grass soon. And uh, hang out and have a brewski. So anyway, uh, that's just a couple of quick yard uh, backyard update. And uh, what we're going to do with the coconuts. So stay tuned and I'll let you know how the coconuts uh, work out. I'll do a video as soon as they uh, germinate. All right. Talk to you later.